Okay, so a couple people have asked me how to do the uh, FPV on the uh, QX350. Um, I'm definitely no expert, but I can tell you how I rigged up mine, and if it helps you, well, good. So, first thing I had to do was uh, buy the receiver and the uh, and the uh, transmitter. So basically, it comes. This is the receiver. It's on the bottom of the uh, bottom of the plane here. Basically, just have it velcroed on. Uh, and there's two ports in it, if you can see right here. One, two. So this one here is for video. The one with the yellow and the black. And then you've got a two-prong that's for power. That's right in here. If you can see that or not. So yeah, you got your power. So now to run your power, you're going to have to have some power from your, your battery. So you need to get a pigtail made up. So you could, typically when you plug in your battery, you've got this here, and you just slide her in like this. And then you have that connector and you, you click her in here, right? So now you're just going to have to get a connector with two of the same prongs put on. And then you're going to take the power from your transmitter that uh, gets Velcro to the, or to the uh, QX, and you're going to put that in. Uh, they're going to be bare wires when you get it, so you just get it soldered in, and then uh, all you have to do is this one here that doesn't have them soldered in gets plugged into uh, the normal one that's on the battery, or that's on the plane, sorry, like that, and then you just plug this one here right into your battery. Then you know you'll know that you have power when you get this red light at the bottom. Okay, so now you're transmitting power. Um, now you need a camera so what I did was uh, I figured instead of getting another uh, another camera for my quad I figured I'd just use the standard uh, GoPro and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna order yourself a cable or you can make yourself up a cable so it's got this this kind of connector here basically which is exactly like what you would feed into your computer or whatever else and that goes into the back of the receiver right here this triple or sorry it's a, a double so you've got your audio and your video yellow being audio or sorry black being audio yellow being video so you got that right there so now <clears throat> I just wrapped wrapped the cable because it comes pretty long I just wrapped it around the uh, the existing uh, bracket okay so now all you're gonna do is you're gonna put on your uh, your GoPro so I'll put that on here real quick and I'll show you how to hook it up simple as that and then you're just gonna take your your connector and plug it into the side here okay so that's all it's gonna look like you just have your plug in there and everything's sitting pretty See, I've got a couple of zap straps here just to keep it, you know, looking a little bit nicer, you know. And for the power cable, I've got the same here, just underneath. And then, then of course you're going to need a, <clears throat> you're going to need a, a display. So I'll take this out of the way and I'll show you how I did this this display. So right there, you've got your standard. Uh, DVD player just a mini portable DVD player with a battery. You know you can charge it up. It's good for about an hour hour and a half this is the uh, Transmitter or receiver that you get with the uh, the package So I just velcroed that onto the back now you've got your Right here. This is your Power cable right here. So you got oh, you only have two plugs at the bottom. So you just plug in your your power you got power there okay and then you've got your video cable so that's that now this is the box box that it came with the transmitter and the receiver so I just used that and velcroed it to the uh, the back of the screen so I can keep all my cables kind of you know clean and, you know I don't have a ton of cable sitting outside the, the thing here so and I just cut holes in the sides so I can run them through so they're a little bit cleaner okay and then you need a you need to be able to power this uh, this unit here, which is your receiver, your uh, receiver. Okay. So now uh, 
what you're going to have is this kind of cable right here. So you would buy, uh, well basically all I did was I bought a, uh, a 30C uh, 800 milliamp uh, battery, velcroed it right onto the end, and I basically just plug it in. Boom. Right, close all this stuff up here. It's nice and clean. Uh, now you got a you got a power light that came on here. You can see that. That's good. So then on the top of this thing here, it shows you all the channels that you have, right? So basically, I've got mine. I think set to channel four. Uh, and the the way you set those is essentially you've got a a little thing here. Excuse my hands. Okay, so these are all the channels. You just flick switches. It comes with a manual and it shows you which which channels to switch on the receiver and the transmitter. And uh, you don't have to worry about uh, screwing it up because you'll you'll figure it out eventually. It won't take very long. Uh, all the instructions are there. So, Okay, so now, sorry about the camera again. <laughs> First time here. Okay, so your video is going to come and it's going to look like this. So I'll take this out of the box here, right? Okay, so you've got audio, video, right? And it just, it's plugged into this here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so essentially it's just a, a single plug that you're going to plug into the back of your, your thing here. And then it comes, and you've got a lead for audio, video, right there. So all three. So then what you're going to need is the, the connector to go into the side of your DVD player. So this is audio, video. Put that on in the yellow, put this one in the black, right? And then you got a switch down here. Well, this is on mine anyways. Your guys' might be different, but mine it has an in and out for audio and, uh, or audio video, right? So I just click mine to in. So it's going to feed the uh, the video into it. Uh, you can turn the volume up here, whatever. That way you can hear what you're doing while you're flying. And then just stuff all these stuff back. I'm just going to stuff all this back in here and show you how it works when it's fired up. Okay, so you're going to open up your open up your little ground station. <laughs> Put your antenna up. Power it on. I noticed I already turned on the power on the back there, so your receiver is actually getting power now. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power up my quad. Well, it's already powered with the uh, the transmitter going here. You can see the red light. So just power on your GoPro. Boom! You got video. You know, and obviously you're going to have to put on your lid here and stuff all these wires back in, right? Which isn't too hard, you know, just make sure you're careful and you don't, uh, you know, rip any wires or whatever. But just tuck them in there nice, kind of like so, right? Bang, done. Okay, so now you'll take your, your cap and you'll put it on there. I think the best thing to do actually is to take a Dremel or something like that and just cut a little corner out of this side here you know be careful not to get this here because this is where it clips in but uh, yeah just stick her back in there make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't fly off and hit your props when you're flying <laughs> I've actually had that happen once okay and then uh, you know when you're uh, when your antenna's up you're going to put your antenna up like that, make sure that your props aren't going to hit it, or you can put it down, it doesn't matter. You don't need to have the extra long landing gear for it, so just turn it, and then just point it down if you want to, right? Or you can point it to the side, whichever whichever you want. This is a 5.8 megahertz uh, transmitter and receiver, so I mean it's not good for a long distance, but it's good for about 2 kilometers, maybe 2 kilometers, so it states about a mile, I guess, mile a little bit. And uh, yeah, you just point uh, point your GoPro any position you want, and you can actually see you know exactly where you're flying. Now you got to be a little bit careful because you don't have telemetry on this thing here, so you won't know how high, how high off the ground you are, which uh, kind of sucks, but not the end of the world. <laughs> so yeah.
basically in a nutshell that's it you got uh, full FPV plane going on here uh, guys got any questions just let me know I'll try to help you out if I can alright